hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have a project share for you um i want to show you what i created for the Paige evans swap that is being hosted by her her yes um who is uh sophia and um i am ready to send out and i wanted to show you what i created i had so much fun working with this collection and so much fun creating everything this is the first time i use um this collection i bought it last year and i went ham on it oh my god i bought so much paper um at joanne's um when they had it on sale and so much of it and um it was fun to use it um i didn't get to use it last year but i really had a great time using it this year um so the requirements for this um swap was uh three shakers embellished uh one memdex um a beaded pen or pokey tool 10 die cuts um La you know and layered them they must be at least three layers three cards it had to be a thank you birthday or general uh, and general um three trim samples at uh, cabochons or charms and one sweet treat a tea bag and a crafty goodie so and we were to create something to um house everything in like a mini album embellishment book or you know whatever we wanted so i created this which um i used I think it's K L J Y U P something like that guys. I would <laughs> I will put the link below of the um the this tote here, this die that I use. I've had this die here for I don't know how long. I want to say one or two years probably. And I've never used it and it was just lying there, I don't know. And I said, "You know what? I'm going to take a look at it." And I I really liked um, the way it came out and it was just perfect for what you know I wanted to create so this is what I created and I'm gonna go ahead and show you and so let's just start here I created some pom-poms here and I use some of the uh, yarn from Hobby Lobby I did this little dangle here I use one of the um, the uh, chipboard um little tags that come in the collection and did this beautiful little dangle here and i see that this little will fix that uh standing up i guess where i had it you know it kind of bent a little but i'll fix it before i send it out so i created this little toad here i used a die um i which i will i don't have it here on my desk but um I will show you who it's from i will uh link it down who it's from and um i did this beautiful little um what's this rainbow back here uh this is from concord and ninth and then use some of my flowers these flowers are from scrap diva designs die the rose the rose petal die i love that die um it's it's so versatile I just love it I love it I can get to do little flowers big ones I can do roses I love it and then I have one of little Lori who is creating for fun one of her little beautiful flowers down here some of the ephemera diamond dots and I love the fact how it has hollow in the back I'm not good at working with hollow I don't like it very much I only use it for Halloween but I really like the way it came out and how it complements this uh, collection so I did that let me see okay then back here I put my little label back here and I use this paper which I love and, and this here this little bow here is I think it's stamp market bow if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure can't remember but if you're interested I can always go back and check so it opens like this guys and this is how wow it's very okay so let's just try it like this so here as you can see I put my trim sample um, and I'm just holding it here I hot glue the um, the yarn here and have it you know be I, I have it been oh lord I'm so sorry I have it holding this <laughs> this little trim sample here I'm all over the place guys the drilling is insane <laughs> this drilling has been going on for days and it's just insane so here um i created this little butterfly as well um this 
collection has a lot of butterflies and um, flowers, which I love, love, love. So I decorated one and I left one undecorated so that whoever receives my swap, they can decorate it themselves. And then I did these little flower pots and these are from KS Craft, the A2 side um, uh, die that they have has that little flower pot in here I created a little pocket for I created a little pocket for the die cuts and I sent in some die cuts love it love it and she'll go over um, everything in detail then here I created my I love this die. Um, I believe this is a KS Craft, KS Craft die, and I love this die. This is a Memdex die, and it opens up um, right here. And I think I put in some, gifted her some flowers, and love it, love it. I use some of the ephemera. I just love it. It's such a versatile die. I use it with some of my Maggie Holmes collections. Love it. And then this back here, which I will not take, but I will open it up. I will not, I'm not going to take it out because... Um, I don't want it to rip but in here I followed a tutorial on this beautiful tea holder so I sent in two teas and look at how gorgeous is this tea holder die and um, I will link down her her yes um, YouTube um, channel so that you guys can go and see in details when she reveals it okay and then this here is bothering me <laughs> okay so then here I just put that little piece of ephemera there it's part of what's well, actually not an ephemera it's part of the um, cut apart here I made a little pokey tool not a pokey tool a pen a beaded pen and I used another of those uh, rainbows there over here let's just see it's just a little hard to come by it's um i inserted my cabajons um a little gift uh, along with another gift which um should make the you know the five plus dollar crafty goodie and then some little popping candy there and then over here is my cards okay these are my cards and um why not let's just take a look at them being that I am not a big card maker so this was a challenge for me but I enjoyed it so this is the birthday card gorgeous and I left them all blank just in case um, she wants to you know reuse it this is the birthday card and as I mentioned um, cards are not I'm not big on making cards period I'm not gonna sugarcoat it <laughs> I don't like making cards <laughs> I just don't like them. Um, I don't know. They, I, I, I'm at a loss when I make a card. So um, when I do make them, I, I, I'm like, wow, I did that. And this one here, this is beautiful. So what I did was I used this little sentiment here. This is from Timu. And then um, I just popped up some of the, um, the little octagons up on foam and put them there so that it can have a little bit of dimension so that's the um sending big hugs that's i guess the general yes general birthday and then this i'm assuming is a thank you oh yes it is okay and this is a thank you this is also another die from timu i added some trim there and some a sentiment from the collection and some butterflies and gorgeous gorgeous i love how they came out i used um these card bases are from Hobby Lobby. All of the card bases and envelopes are from Hobby Lobby. I picked them up last, I think it was last summer, during the appearance. Okay, so that is, um, those are my cards, which I'm happy with. I also did three more for um, Sophia, so I hope she likes them. They're a little similar, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're no I think I made them the same yes but um, I'm also sending her a little gift which I will let her open that 
um i know she asked um you know not to receive anything because she just didn't have room but you know as crafters we always have to send something so i just sent a little something for her um but it's already packed so guys and then this is the way it closes shut again right there and it just stands straight right i put two little feet back here with some flat gems and did the handle very sturdy and this is what i will be sending in for the page evans swap love it love it love it this i mean i had so much fun and i think i want to use this die again um definitely want to use this die again not sure not sure how i i wanted to use it for halloween maybe make it like um i don't know like a jack-o-lantern or something not sure but i definitely want to use this die again it's a beautiful beautiful die and big guys it's pretty big so yeah this is it guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you on the next one bye now